Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We know that time is precious and we mm -hmm. cannot afford to waste it, especially when it comes to relationships. That's right. But in the dating game, all too often relationships end and we feel like we've wasted our time, but that's not necessarily true. Here to tell us how to handle dating time wasters mm. is marriage and mentor, Coach Dr. Jackie Del Rosario. Hello. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I am well. Well, you Where look beautiful. It? Thank Absolutely. you. And so do you. And I Ladies. love this necklace yes. you're wearing. Yeah. Suffered. Where'd you get it? I got it in Miami. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm and this Miami. lady has some stunning pieces. Okay, mm. we're going to get her name. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right, right now, we're going to get some knowledge. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. I'm so very happy that subject. you're here. It really is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, you know, I think it's even uh, the topic that we're addressing today, mm -hmm. like when is a good time to pull out of a relationship or when you know that it's not going anywhere. It's very challenging to get back into the dating world you know you know when you are older or more mature uh, you know everyone it's hard out there for it's everybody. hard out, it's yeah. just for the, for the, for the yeah. 17 to 18 24 it year really old people is, too. because I hear from clients across the spectrum about how difficult it is to find someone good mm -hmm. and to find a love that can last mm -hmm. love that can so last. you're not alone so so when do you know what do you say to people what are some things that people can look for to say you know what it's probably this relationship is not me worth me pursuing mm -hmm. when should you really pull out well you need to pull out when you recognize that they're not meeting those things on that list those areas of our compatibility that we know that we need in that relationship mm -hmm. when we can't say that those things are being provided for us everybody has different needs mm -hmm. so if that person's not able to meet those very very specific needs that you have that you know you cannot do without mm -hmm. why waste mm -hmm. why stay in the relationship hoping and wishing mm -hmm. and even praying Jesus mm -hmm. yeah you know, maybe I can change them or maybe that you know mm -hmm. they will mm -hmm. grow and change in the, in so the long run you can't change why do people, people. No, can't. But, but why do people stay what are some reasons for people to say, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and stay in this relationship? Well, a lot of times they've invested time and they mm -hmm. just feel like my time is too valuable to throw away, even though they know that the relationship is not where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. And so they'll just continue to stay. They, they might not want to waste that time. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's a fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the devil that we know versus the devil we don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, yeah. change is scary for people. Mm -hmm. They might have children that they're sharing. Yeah. And then let's not forget the dollar bill. Okay, oh. then. Finances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There so, might be communal property. They might not be able to stand on their own feet. And so they are concerned about how are they going to make it without the mm, income from that got it, person. Got it, got it. Well, you say that changing our lens <laughs> on our perspective on a relationship that may not have worked out is the key to moving on. Mm. Oh, absolutely. Mm. So we look at these relationships when they don't end the way that we thought. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we say that, you know, we're upset about that and that it was a waste of our time. So we think we've lost something. So we're not going to talk about L's. We're not, it's not about losing, it's about lessons. lessons. Yeah. That's what, that's yeah. what Calvin Richardson just said. said. I heard yeah. that, so sure I was like, did. he's already been looking at my card. <laughs> 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 but, but it's about the lesson. And you got to look at relationships like this. Each one is like a stair step. It's preparing you for the next relationship mm. because it's causing you to evolve. When you look at it in that perspective, like that. you understand that. What have I gained from this relationship? And who is it making me? And who do I need Ooh. to become for the next one? It's a dress rehearsal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a dress rehearsal for the next one, so you definitely didn't lose anything. Like well, how, how do we do that, though? Because sometimes when you're in a relationship and you mm -hmm. have scales over your eyes because you still find, oh, that's my boo, and I think mm -hmm. I love him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so how, how do you take that time up for yourself to, to make sure you zone in on what am I learning from this relationship about him and about myself, and is this really what I want? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's some things that I, wanted, I want uh, the, the viewers to literally key in on. First of all, think about what has this relationship brought to me? What has it given me that I did not have when I entered the relationship? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or what has it taken <coughs> away from me? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're missing mm -hmm. something that you had when you came mm -hmm. that you no longer have now, that's a problem. Yeah, that yes. is a challenge. Number two, the relationship has the opportunity to show you who you really are, what your blind spots are. Now, there's things about us that we don't really see because they're in our blind spot. Mm -hmm. um, but you'll know because they create cycles. So when mm -hmm. each person mm -hmm. in the relationship is telling you similar things about yourself, mm -hmm. those are th you're creating cycles in your life. So you need to address those. Wow. You know, listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. But I don't <laughs> want people to feel that if they're in a relationship, it didn't end the way that they wanted, that they should have regret. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. regret 
there it's it's a tether so it's keeping you in right an old now. place mm. you need to just say hey i learned this i, I have some good learned, memories huh? i have some bad memories i'm moving on i like that oh, I, yeah, like I, I, I don't mind moving on oh, oh my god <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> okay so dr jack you say the onus is that it really falls on us that nobody can waste your time no mm. one can waste your time so it's really up to us we like you know what mm -mm. right mm -hmm. is that That's what you right. say well nobody can waste your time without your permission right mm. you're responsible so if you continue to persist in a situation that you know is not fruitful for you, mm -hmm. you, only are, you only have yourself to blame for it. So you need to make the changes, and I think it's about making decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, decisions are like keys, right? But not all keys go into a lock and unlock it immediately. Mm -hmm. Some keys you gotta jiggle. Mm -hmm. So you make a decision, put a time on that decision, and if it doesn't end up the way that you thought, make another decision, jiggle mm -hmm. that key. Oh, are you jiggling Until baby? you get to where you're trying to be. I, I, I'm gonna go off the cards for oh, a second. Oh, oh, <laughs> what happened? Nothing, you're on the program, baby, every day. Well, I, you know, I like to learn about relationships. I'm very fascinated mm -hmm. with it, honestly, and, I, and this is the way that I grow. So, you know, when, when we, it's, you know, during the honeymoon phases, mm -hmm. phases and everything is very happy and mm -hmm. you're having so much fun and you're, you know, everybody's smiling and all of that, you know, I often think, could, could getting to know a person be lost in that? What I say, I, I, what, I'm, what I mean when I say that is, when you're having fun, you are getting to know a person, but you're getting to know a person in a fun uh, hemisphere. In optimal conditions. Yes. However, I think to dig deeper is when, you know, things shift a little bit, and mm -hmm. this is the prime opportunity to say, mm -hmm. hey, let's learn from each other, mm -hmm. or is this, a, I need to be able to see how you act under certain situations and conditions, yeah. mm -hmm. and I think that part is primal when it comes down to learning someone. Absolutely, and this is the issue that so should a I, challenge. Should, should, should the person flee? Oh no, this, this is a challenge though <laughs> in our social media age. You know, we don't get as much but. face time where you can really see people in, in real time interaction, right. because that's, it's, it's who are you under pressure? Mm. Who are That's you when I'm you're upset? About. That's yeah. right. Who are you when right. you're tired and cranky? Mm -hmm. Who are you when money's tight? Mm -hmm. Right. Or you have issues that you haven't been able to resolve. This so. is a great opportunity. It, it, is. it presents great opportunity. Yeah, because does. some men they can they can send out their representative for a good minute. Oh. And women. Yeah. Was how long does the representative stay? Because you know how we already get that ring. We'll put on that mask and be whoever we need to be mm -hmm. for the moment. But I remember when I was uh, engaged to my husband, All right I now. wanted him to see me as in my worst condition. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, if you're ready for this, then we can roll. Mm -hmm. So this is who I am, stripped down. Shaking together. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Jackie. You're always an amazing yes. guest. We really appreciate it. Please follow her on her Instagram at Ask Dr. Jackie. We'll be right back. Thanks, Dr. Jackie. Thank